Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to design and 3D model your own house, your own buildings, your own city? Well you're in luck because the rest of this tutorial will walk you through the process of using the building tools add-on with Blender to build your own house and render images of your creations like the ones you see here. The first step is installing the building tools add-on. In order to install the building tools add-on, you'll want to go to the link in the description and download the zip file. Next, open up Blender and go to your preferences by going to Edit, Preferences, and in the Add-ons tab, press Install and navigate to the zip file's install location. Now, search for Building Tools in the Add-ons section of your preferences and make sure that the checkbox is ticked next to Building Tools so that Blender recognizes your add-on. Back in Blender, we're going to delete the default cube, and then we're going to press the shortcut N to open the Tools panel. Once the Tools panel is open on the right, we can see that the Building Tools add-on has successfully been installed. Now click Create Floor Plan to create your first floor plan. You can go through the options on the left. Uh, there's Circular Shape, Random Shape, Composite. I generally like to go with a random shape and then I set the seed to a random number until I find one that I like. This one works out for me. So now I'm going to tab over into edit mode and add a few floors to my floor plan. You know what? This is actually looking good with just one floor, but you can always change those settings in the left. And remember, you're going to always want to make sure that you're in edit mode when you're working on your building. Being in object mode will gray out all those options in the right hand building tools panel. So yeah, we're looking good. We have our first floor. How about we add a roof? Now in order to do this, we're going to want to make sure we're in edit mode and that we have the face selection tool selected. Select the top face to add a roof to your house. In the add roof panel, you can change the type of roof. I'm going to choose a gable roof. Here you can also change the thickness, height, and outset of the roof. Once you're happy with the way that your roof looks, let's add our first door. Now you'll start to notice a basic pattern for working with building tools. Once our basic shape is built and the foundation of our house is set, we add to our structure by selecting faces and choosing an option from the side panel. To add our door, we'll select this front face and choose Add Door. Now with our door added, we can look to the door panel in the left corner and change the settings until we're satisfied with the way it looks. To add windows and any other house parts, we repeat the same process of selecting a face for the object to build off of and changing the settings to meet our aesthetic needs. Note that all building is done in edit mode and that custom settings for each category are saved. As you can see, when I add another window, by default it will match the custom settings for the window I made earlier. This comes in handy when building larger homes and complexes. The rest of the process of building the home is quite repetitive. Feel free to pause the video at this point and finish building your own home if you're following along. I'll speed through the rest of this house getting built for this video. Once you're finished building your basic house, take a moment to revel in its beauty. We can change our viewport mode by toggling these buttons in the top right. Viewport shading won't do much for now because our house doesn't have materials, which we'll cover in part 2. For now, we'll go to our rendered setting in viewport. This, for the most part, is how your final render will appear. In order to render this house as a rough draft image, we'll need to tweak a few settings. First, we'll change the light settings. We can move the light around by selecting it and pressing G to toggle move mode. Press enter when you're happy with where the light's position is, and by default the power of your light may be very low. You can change this by going into the light settings under the little bulb icon and changing the power. Anything over 100 should do for now. You may also not like how the camera is set in your scene. Find a view you like by moving around the viewport and then align your camera to your view by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and 0 on your numpad. 
While in camera view, and you'll know you're in camera view by the orange or white lines around the camera's field of vision, you can press G to move the camera around. Press G and the middle mouse button or scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you're happy with your camera's position, you can go into your camera settings, and if you want a transparent render like mine, under the film dropdown, you can toggle transparent on or off. This is great for making versatile art ready to be posted to the web with any background. But if you prefer having a background, you do you. Then we go to render and make sure we render as an image and not as an animation. This will open up the render window. Inside the render window, click on your image and press F3 to search for shortcuts. Search save as image. You could have also pressed Shift Alt S, but we can't be expected to remember all of these shortcuts. So when in doubt, F3 will always let you search through Blender functions to get to the right spot. Save the image in a place that makes sense. And there we go. Our first rough render of a house we built. You are now one third of the way through the tutorial series, Build Your Own House in Blender. Stay tuned for part two where we go over using materials to give our house a little bit of life, and part three where we add grass and a yard for our final render. And as always, thanks for watching another Blender Foundations video. We'll see you next time.